The Way of Perfection, Teresa de Avila, Chapter 3. She urges her sisters to busy themselves begging God to help those who labor for the church. The chapter ends with an earnest plea. This is some of what she says in the chapter. When in time of war his land is overrun, he withdraws to a city that he has well fortified, and from there sometimes strikes his foe, and often the victory is won in this way. We must ask God that God will make the captains of this castle or, or city who are the preachers and theologians very advanced in the way of the Lord. Live in the world, engage in its business, and as I said, resemble in its conversation, while interiorly remaining its strangers, its enemies, in some, not being men but angels, for if they do not live this way, they do not deserve to be called captains. So then, do not think that little help from God is necessary, for this great battle these preachers and theologians are fighting, a very great deal is necessary. I beg you to strive, first, that there be many who will meet these requirements, second, that after being placed in this combat, they may receive protection from the Lord. When we ask you for honors, income, money, or worldly things, do not hear us, but when we ask you for the honor of your son, why won't you hear us? Chapter 3 Teresa explains the purpose for her foundations. It's a spiritual combat. She explains that because of the division in the church and the Protestant Reformation, the captains, good captains are needed, holy captains, detached from the world, spiritual men, who will be able to draw people into, into the true faith a faithful man and women who contemplate daily on God and his love for us. Um, so she, um, she urges the study of scripture, preaching of the word, virtual living and prayer and fasting. So that's her weapon against the, the divisions in church to pray for the leadership, to sustain them spiritually and to become close friends of God so he will answer their prayers. And that's chapter three. Thank you and God bless.